All right, I had a great time exploring Tartarus there. It's time for Tuesday. Yo. Hey, you're a 2F, right? What's with that wary look in your eye? I'm Kenji Tomachika. We're in the same class. Uh, wait, you are. Sorry. <laughs> Nothing really. Just thought I'd say hi. I heard from Yori that you're pretty close with Takaba, Takaba son. Is that true? Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Looking for someone with a little more experience anyway. Heh. <laughs> oh crap. Well, it's time for the morning assembly. Well, we better hurry. Okay. What's going to get discussed here? <laughs> Try and spot the main characters in the crowd. Challenge. Literally impossible. Thank you. So she did get elected. Well, I guess she is the most popular girl in school. You can say that again. She's got this intimidating vibe around her. Not to mention, this school's owned by the Carijo group, right? Oh, that name's come up again, which means they're going to be important. I'm a student council president. I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. However, change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. That is why we must restructure our daily lives in order to rise to this challenge. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions. Strive to imagine a bold new future without losing sight of the realities around you. That is the key. My own ideas are but one person's vision. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, your participation, opinions, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Dang, what a speech. Do you, uh, have any idea what she just said? Uh, <laughs> I wasn't listening. <laughs> Dude, you're such a rebel. <laughs> yeah, the transitions are really good. Okay, time for class. Oh, well, this one isn't voice acted. Uh, all right, today we'll be looking at some Meiji era literature. Open your textbooks to page 12. You know what? I'm sick of this story. I already went over it in the last class. Why does every te teacher hate their jobs and material here? <laughs> what is going on? I've got a great poem we can discuss instead. Close your textbooks, everyone, and listen to this. Unless it's something to actually do with the plot. Something like that. Like, maybe it's going to be the first not palace that we conquer. This one that's making all the teachers just hate everything here. Um... Yeah, there's a theory that she's a college student masquerading as a high schooler just to deal with the problem. What, the uh, student council president that I forgot the name of there? It's like clouds suspended over the tall snowy mountain peak. That was beautiful. I'm feeling sleepy. Should I close my eyes for a few minutes? I'll try, sure. I can feel the teacher's glare as I start nodding off. It's like my courage is being tested. Cool, stats up, social stats. <laughs> uh, so goofy. All right. Yo, wanna stop by Paulonia Mall on the way back? Okay, so tutorial to the facilities. Since we got stuff going on at night, there's a yeah. pharmacy there too. Couldn't hurt to get some meds in case anything happens. Yeah. Um, you seem really into this. You bet I am. If we don't step up to the plate, who will? The chairman said it himself. The fate of the world depends on us. Let's go, leader. First task, escape from the school. Escape from the school? Look, it's the Madison fight! <laughs> Wait for us! Uh, just in case I use anything here in thumbnails, probably I'll have like camera on if it's not voice acted and off if it is. Maybe what I'll do, I don't know. us really got to know him before all this crazy stuff happened. He's a captain of the boxing team. Never lost a single match. I know that's cool and all, but who'd have thought boxing would turn you into a chick man? I mean, come on. They're fawning on him more than a harem mod. What? I wonder where they're going. Hey, are you guys free this afternoon? 
Huh? Uh, us? Yeah, I mean, hell yeah. We love to join your little uh <laughs> here. Um, what about the fate of the world? Two of you to meet me at Polonia Mall. You know where it is, right? I'll be waiting at the police station. Got it? J the police station? You mean we're not hanging out with your friends? Who? These girls? No, I don't even know their names. Hearing so much chit chat gives me a headache. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going on ahead. Don't keep me waiting. Can he not know their names? I mean, seriously, just look at them. God. Uh, anyway, let's go. So now I asked us to meet him at the Paolo Paolo Mall Police Station. Pay and I decide to head over. Let's go. Yeah. Well, I was just headed there myself. You know the place, right? Let's go. Sure. So can I just town map and then. Yeah, so here. Yeah. Head over this way. And then we have stuff going on. So, I guess that's the police station? Okay. Sure. Go over here. Uh, check police station. This is the place Sonata-san was talking about, right? All right, wanna go in? Yeah, a lot smaller building than I was anticipating. Well, I guess the building itself is a massive thing, but you know what I mean, sure. Oh, and there he is. Hi. Thank you, Kurosawa san. I'll be taking this. Oh, these are the guys I was talking about earlier. Hmm. This is Officer Kurosawa. He helps keep our squad well equipped. Oh, and here, this is from Ikutsuki san. Whoa, is that our war funds? You shouldn't have. You can't fight empty handed, so find something you like. Kurosawa san has connections. He can secure equipment for us, but these things still cost money. Of course they do. Nothing in life is free. I realize that. Well, I'll see you later. Thanks again. So I guess this will be our new EY. I've been informed about you two. My job is to maintain peace in this city regardless of the circumstances. I'm just an ordinary police officer, but it doesn't take a genius to know something strange is going on here. I'm only doing what I think is right. Nothing more. You, you think that us in the back. kids are will help solve it? All right. Oh, this is voice acted here. But he does have a social link. That's sad. <laughs> now then. I don't have that much, but you should be able to find what you need. Uh, Tatsumi East Police Station. At Tatsumi East Police Station, you can purchase equipment for you and your party to use in battle. You're also selling equipment you aren't using if you need a little extra cash. There's no telling what dangerous Tartarus will throw your way, so be sure to gear up with the highest quality equipment you can afford. Whole bunch of giffy motes there. Equipment types. Equipment is listed in four categories. Weapons, armor, footwear, and accessories. Weapons primarily influence attack damage. Armor reduces the damage taken by the wearer. Footwear affects the wearer's evasiveness, and accessories grant the wearer various special effects. Sometimes equipment other than accessories will also grant special effects. Try out different combinations to optimize and specialize your loadout. Ooh. Yeah, the UI. It's pretty cool. So I have 8k in funds. Is there anything that's worth getting right now? Got some new things in stock. Check it out. Attack up to 60. Well, what's my current one? What do I oh compare? I see. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I really need to right now. I don't think it's really needed. This one. Take as long as you need. Yeah, I'll what will it be? Take this some other time. Since this is just some of the starter stuff that probably isn't that good anyway. It does seem like it brings up my stats a decent bit from what it was before, but yeah. Yeah, so it's the same there. Uh, what kind of accessories? 
So plus 10 SP, plus 10 HP, strength plus one, magic plus one, endurance plus one, agility plus one, luck plus one. Okay. And then, um, could sell for a low price. Is that the main purpose there? I'm not buying anything, so it's not like I really need to sell right now. I can just sell it when I'm actually going to be buying something, so. All done here. Yeah. I'm introduced to it, so if you want to buy anything, you know where to find me. Drop by any time. I'll conserve my funds for now and save it for something cooler later. So I assume it's just the basics that I have unlocked right now. I'll upgrade when I feel like I need to upgrade and get something cooler. <laughs> uh, what about stocking up? shops and stuff in this place so you really should check it out while you can all right see you back at the dorm is that there was a thing on the uh okay starting today if you use your after school hours however you wish i'll finish that thought in a hot second and yeah i was thinking about getting the sp accessory maybe later making use of various school facilities or visiting certain spots in town can raise your academics charm or courage however the number of activities you can engage in each day is limited think carefully about how to spend your time and plan ahead Network functionality. When you turn network functionalities on and press that, you can review online player statistics and compare progress. So that may also provide tips if you're stuck or recommend actions if you can't decide what to do. Yeah, what's with like the photorealistic picture of a guy here? PlayStation's bulletin board. Posters, I mean, maybe it's not really photorealistic. It just looks that way from a distance, but there are posters regarding traffic safety and reminders of recent crimes in the area. So, so 100% of people gave money as an offering, made use of karaoke, played at the art. Uh, oh, well, yeah, because I guess you can't do a uh, social link or Tartarus right now. These are the different things that I did. Everyone's average level four Tartarus floors explored check. So that's like matching my progress compared to the average there. Uh, gave money as an offering, made use of karaoke, played at the arcade site in the library, made use of the Hagakure ramen. Went back to the dorm, made use of the wild duck burger, made use of the movie theater. I don't know, I'll save it, I'll try something. So, the blue V, uh, Guy by the Spirits will reopen on July 22nd. What's this? Chocolate Cafe is too crowded right now. Okay, what's this? Got this escapade, it's not open yet. Okay, well, sucks to suck. Alright, what's this? Seems to be an antique store, but it's closed. It says reopening July 18th. Okay. Uh, what's this? The pharmacy! Welcome. Yeah, well, I can consider stopping by there. Welcome. I'm just exploring around for now. Uh, competition between pharmacies is heating up. Gotta make my store more unique or I'll be sunk. I'm starting by making Saturdays regular sale days. Come come out this weekend and support my store. The Aohige Pharmacy. Aohige Pharmacy sells all kinds of recovery items. Want to check their stock on a regular basis and keep an eye on their seasonal product rotation. You'll like the new stuff we got in stock. Take a look around. Yeah. I'm okay. I think um, it might not be a bad idea to have at least one of those though um, you made up your mind. I'll actually get two of these I think just in case yeah Come again, yeah? yeah just because if someone goes down and I can't pick them up and I'm completely screwed Crane game prizes a Ganesha bank uh, play until you win a prize. Maybe if I end up being like in a state like my P5 playthrough where I just get like a bazillion funds after enough time, then maybe. What's this? CD Shop Kenneth Arnold. Store sells a variety of music. Because I can't go in there right now. Game Parade. Game Parade. You partake in services offered by various establishments in town, but doing so will cause time to pass. My businesses will raise your academics, charm, or courage. My stats might help you form new relationships. Here's arcade games are inside. Depending on what game you play at the game parade, you can increase academics, charm, courage, or stat of your persona. The arcade cycles through which games are available each day of the week. Time will pass regardless of what game you play. Do I spend the day here? Oh. It's kind of expensive. Um, so that's courage. 
And this is a Persona's agility. I don't really need to raise any Persona stats right now. And the Personas that I have right now are just going to be gotten rid of long term, I would imagine, anyway. So, but yeah. Um, House of the Deceased for a game with terrifying zombies raises courage. I'll check some of my other options and then figure out what I'm doing. Let's go elsewhere. I... Okay, what's going on at the shrine? Let's see here. I'll find out. Um, hi! Hello there! My, my, you look like a pleasant youngin! What are you doing at a shrine, though? You don't look like the prayerful type. Eh? I've come a long way to pray to the god here. He's a strong one. Oh, the statues here are one of the personas that I recognize from P5. The offer to Rebox and the written fortunes both bring great blessings. When then there's Inari signed by the Red Gate. Whew! Some crazy things might happen if you pray to him if you catch my drift. Well, you have to pray for a long time. It's no problem for me, but some people might be too busy. Okay, interesting. Elderly man taking a break. Fortune. Sign says the fortune box is undergoing repairs. Okay. Monetary offering. Leaving money as an offering will raise your academics. How? What? Uh, the amount you choose to donate may yield different results. Those who approach with generosity will be rewarded in kind. That will pass if you make an offering. Are they praying at the shrine? Yeah, I'll do that when, like, big amounts, I guess, if I get to the point that I start getting a lot of funds, like in my P5 playthrough. Uh, can I not pick up the glowy thing on the ground? The sign describes the deity you worship at the shrine in the history of the sacred tree. Something on the ground. Oh, there we go. Oh, that fragment is a strange item that seems to deeply resonate with the dark hour. Keep a weather eye out. Keep a weather eye out? What? I find them in unexpected places. I've never heard that saying before. So, Inari. Duplicating skill cards at Inari's shrine. Oh. Uh, by praying at the shrine, you can choose to make a copy of one of your existing skill cards. Why is my back so itchy? Uh, the skill card will be replicated immediately. You may do this once per day. Okay. There's left Inari sushi as an offering. I pray at the Inari shrine. Interesting. Okay. So, figuring out what I can do here. Go elsewhere. Um, so, off to the strip mall here. Why back? Alright, and then my options here. Cat me boy. My friend is a cat. It's so cute. I want one too, but my mom hates animals. I guess I'll start on the right here. What's this? Octopia. Hey, come on over, young man. My takoyaki is both delicious and cheap. Only 400 yen. There's no octopus in it, but try some anyway. Okay, so it's just the kind of item that I can get here. Okay. And then here, Wild Duck Burger. Wild Duck Burger. Mystery Burger, a thousand yen. The ingredients are a secret. Eating the burger might help me gain more courage. Grabbing a bite of the Wild Duck Burger will raise your courage. Doing so will cause time to pass. Wait, what was that other option? Check what can be done here. It's our secret, okay. Just in case I forget, like, the hint there. Okay. Um, bookworms. Uh, they use bookstore bookworms. The sign says, closed for termite extermination. We'll open on 425, so in four days. Okay, and then I can get books, and then maybe I can pass time on the train. Something like that. Don't think there's anything that I can do at the high school. I'll check here, just in case there's some activities. Curiosity. Hi. The best thing about this station is its size and how close it is to the ocean. We're proud of it. Personally, I like it a lot. What about you? I love it! Wonderful, I'm glad you like it. Oh, it has a second floor? Oh, didn't even realize. And there are some activities here. So these are probably just items. I have something to drink. Yeah. Uh, this is the movie theater, it looks like. Screenshot movie theater. Smile at the Eiffel Tower is now showing. High school students pay 1,500 yen. Watch this movie might improve my charm. Seeing a film at Screenshot Movie Theater will raise your academics, charm, or courage, depending on the movie's theme. That will change every day, so be sure to check back often. Okay, so it's not like P5 where it's like, this movie is running for this time, you get the most points initially, and then get like a smaller amount of points if you rewatch that same movie. So this will just always change. Okay. If you get a part-time job working at the theater, you can pick up a shift during the afternoon or on non-school days. Both watching a movie and working a shift will pass the time. Okay. Well, I assume that this won't take too, too long for it to be like my P5 playthrough and that it's not really worth it to work a job for anything other than the social stats, considering like money isn't really going to be an option where I can just, or an object, not an option, when I can just grind in Tartarus. 
I would imagine. So I spend the day here, assuming that there's an easy way that I can recover SP, like I was able to jank over in P5. Um, I'll find out as I keep on playing. Um, Bala, can I check what can be done here right now? Okay, charm is what the current thing is. What is this over here? Welcome to Rafalcia. What kind of flowers are you looking for today? Yeah, so I guess these are like gifts that I can give people. Is what I assume. Woo, I'm getting stuck on these pillars. Uh, the weather is nice today. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, so go elsewhere. Okay. I'll check this out. Oh, maybe I could have just fast traveled to the other thing. Whatever. So, yeah, like this. Okay. Asu Asuki Arai Sweets. Sweet Sen is drifting out the door. Okay. I can Korei Ramen. Pork Ramen, 900 yen. Uh, collagen will make your skin beautiful. Eating collagen rich food might improve my charm. Eating at the Hagakure Korei will allow the ramen's collagen to improve the quality of your skin, raising your charm. Time will pass if you eat here. You come by on certain nights, there may be new items on the menu that aren't normally available. At the day here. What's this? Wakatsu Kitchen is too crowded right now. Okay, what is if I go up here? What's this? Net Cafe. I can actually enter this one. Uh. Yep, that's how doors work. Welcome, take your time browsing. Various computer software are lined up on the counter. This software might come in handy if I can use a shared computer at the dorm. So I need to unlock that first, I guess. What that's implying to me. Ooh. Something shiny, something shiny in front of the garbage can. Twilight fragment. Um, Umeushi Beef Bowls. Is this door gonna bug out too? Nope. Umeushi Beef Bowls. It's too crowded right now. Well then why'd I enter? Look, I'm sorry we're full right now. You could do take up, but that service is only available to our members. You can register to become a member online by using the code in our fan book. You sum up if you'd like to. You can buy a fan book at the Net Cafe. Did I just come from the Net Cafe? Um. So, okay, it won't even let me enter now. So, no, not that. Okay, so I can't just fast travel out. I could fast travel to close to one of the exits there. Did I check out this last one? Yeah, it's the bookstore. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll go do the movie theater or something for now. That's maybe what I'll do. Also, X-Ray Blacksmith right with a party of nine here. I most certainly was not expecting the Spanish Inquisition here. I appreciate the raid there, X-Ray. What was on the stream and stream agenda for today? What was being stream and streamed? Welcome on in, everybody from X-Ray Stream. I am Acoustic Harmonia. I do a little bit of everything around here. And uh, Persona 5, Persona 5 Reload? Persona 3 Reload just came out, like, tonight, a few hours ago. So I've been streaming a little bit of it. It's my first time playing Persona 3, and I'm intrigued by it so far. I played Persona 5 when it came out on the Switch. That was my first time playing a Persona game, and now I'm trying this as my second Persona game here, and it's uh, interesting so far. I'm kind of in tutorial land still and getting everything figured out. But yeah, so much but ended out with a uh, Fortnite. Hope things have been well. Things have been pretty all right here. I'm wrapping up my final semester of university right now, so I'm not doing as much streaming as stream stuff nowadays as I work on this semester and developing two video games as part of this semester, which will definitely keep me a decent bit busy, but... For now, tonight, tonight just be big chill and night. I hope that Fortnite went well. Hopefully got lots of kills there. Hopefully managed to rank well. Or whatever people say about Fortnite, I haven't played Fortnite in forever. I played Fortnite like literally the day that it came out. Pretty sure I have like founder stuff on my account, but I gotta stop playing before the Battle Royale came out. So there was a, there was that. Sure, let's go watch the movie. Sure, let's watch a movie. Improves various aspects of a person depending on the movie you watch. Yes. Sure. Detonator. eater. Ooh, let's watch this film. The cinematic shots filled with beauty and charm made me appreciate the arts. Wow. Ooh, two notes that time. One day I'll be a little bit more charming. Probably not for a while yet though. Good evening. Welcome back. Perfect timing. I'd like to speak with you for a moment. Regarding our exploration of Tartarus. Akiko is still in the mend for now. So for now, I'd like you to lead the team in combat. Cool, more gameplay. You never know when a powerful enemy might appear. Like the one you faced the other day. I faced one the other day? Are you referring to like a... 
you can't be referring to like that big boss one in that cutscene because that was like a week ago because I was knocked out for a while. I didn't face all that powerful of ones in Tartarus there. It's interesting so far. I'm still kind of figuring out how exactly this game works. I, a lot of stuff is translated over like in terms of my experience from Persona 5. There's a lot of stuff that I'm like, okay, I recognize this and how this works and I feel like I have a good feel for the game, but I still have yet to get into the territory where the game really gives me free reign all that much yet. So like, yeah, the game is beginning. I want you to do this this day, this this day, this this day, and so on. Just be prepared or else you may find yourself in a difficult situation. So whenever you like to explore Tartarus, just let me know and I'll gather everyone there. May now venture Tartarus at your discretion. Oh, maybe now is the point where it gives me like free reign. You can go there by talking to your allies or by checking the bulletin board in the lounge. Because Tartarus is unavailable until the dark hour, time will pass if you decide to make the journey. Give yourself ample time to prepare beforehand. So, also, since I'm sure there are other things you will need to take care of, you have permission to go out at night if you need to. Well, that's all for now. Keep up the good work. Okay, it's not like P5 and that I only get access to doing things at night, like, forever later. You're now free to roam the city at night. Some businesses offer nighttime exclusive items and part-time jobs, so see what you can discover. Okay. Uh, Officer Kurosawa can't experience a dark hour. He's just an ordinary policeman, but he knows what we do. At least in a broad sense. It helps out where he can. Uh, yeah, how do you meet him? Well, he helped me out a while ago. Trust me, he's someone you can count on. Okay. Something in the matter? Uh, what's everyone's status? Everyone can go tonight. Oh, is there gonna be like some nights that some people are busy and they can't go on adventures here? Just wanted to chat. Right. Might go out at night, but please use the appropriate discretion with this privilege. Okay. You have some time. Did very well for your first night in Tartarus. So what do you think of it? Um, this piece of cake! Fantastic. Why, wow, that's absolutely remarkable. Would you like to apply to become the next chairman? <laughs> sure. Hi. Hmm. Tartarus just trains me for some reason. You know how the air is thin at the top of a mountain? Kinda feels like that. But you, Kusa Uh, it's not so bad. How's that so? <laughs> I guess you're tougher than you look. Hey. Eh, you know that thing we use to summon our personas? The evoker? Well, I was thinking. Why does it gotta look like a gun? I mean, you gotta be a little nutty to point a gun at your head and pull the trigger, you know? Yeah, that's what I was thinking there. What's this icon here? Like, oh, I guess, enter. That's what this icon is on the map. I see. I feel my mind starting to wander as I wash my hands. I guess we'll Tartarus properly starting today. So everyone can go, so maybe I, May as well do that rather than doing a different later activity. Like, sure. I mean, here, let me save again. Hi. You know, sure, let's go. Very well. We'll meet at Tartarus around midnight. Don't be late. Wait. No, hold on. But hold on. Just give me a second. Maybe I'll actually load that save. Because if this takes place... Like, after the night here anyway. And this happens, like, every night. I am curious. This will be a temporary... Oh. Wouldn't realistically I be able to do, like, some night activity and then still go to here? I assume in terms of, like, time management, it'll make me choose, like, do night activities or go to Tartarus. But, I, uh, what is... Like, realistically, I could go do some activities, come back, and then still come here, right, time-wise. During your turn in battle, pressing that will open the tactics menu, which will allow you to change how each party member will act during their turn. Direct commands allow you to control their action. Yes, that's what I want. Uh, act freely. The party member will choose the best course of action according to the situation. Full assault. The party member will prioritize attacking. Serve SP. The party member will choose an action while saving SP. Heal support. Just give me manual control. The party member will prioritize their HP and focus on recovery. Commands the party member will act according to player input. I don't know why I'd ever do any of the automatic things. Text can also be viewed and changed through the status menu. Go to status and use that. Yeah, okay. Hold on. No. Well, let's see here. If I just do this real quick. And I say do something. I don't really care what. Just for the sake of science. Let's see here. Um, can I do the burger thing? Sure. Eat that. 
Let's just see what happens to the time. If it ends the day, then I might reload the save and go to Tartarus. That's what I might just do. I decided to try the new burger. A staffer looked apologetically at me before turning away. Some uneasiness. I managed to finish the whole thing. Is this gonna be like Big Bang Burger, I wonder? Oh, look at the mascots back there. That's up, social stats. Cool. Okay. And then... Yeah, it does go to the next day. Gotcha. So I might just go to Tartarus instead and then do the, uh, the thing later. Um, no, I'll do this some other time. Here, skip it for now. I don't care what's being said. Let me just, uh, let me just load. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, oh, I guess I'm eating ramen with this guy now. Great. What am I missing right now? <laughs> no, I'll... No! I'll see this properly later. <laughs> Hold on, just let me open my menu. Uh, but it's possible to do business in any stores during the time. Yeah. Okay, I... I'm doing something different with that, uh, with that day. And apparently when the next day comes around, I'll, uh, immediately get a link with a magician who I guess is that random student or something. Let's go to Tartarus. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Just figuring out the mechanics of this game and what I'm working with here. I got you now. As we explore I'm yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so... Now I can access calendar. Um, yeah, I still can't do quests. Stats. How do I do the, uh... Gosh dang it, the tactics. Because in P5, it's like I set it to manual, then I never had to find it again. Ugh, crap. Um, you think, oh, it's right here. Yep. Status. I don't see a status. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, so what? I believe you didn't change through status in the menu. Go to status and use the... I... Where's status? What? Calendar, social, link, quests, stats. Status. Oh, tactics. Yeah, so that should just say stats menu. Um, change all tactics. What? Direct commands. Oh, at first I was like, why am I set to... What does change all tactics mean? It's mean I select that, I change every one once. Yeah, direct commands. Yeah, there we go. Good. Uh, actually, I'll save later, it's fine. I have to say, I'm curious. When you hit an enemy's weak point and they fall down, some of them look so funny like that, almost makes me want to laugh. It wouldn't be so funny if we got attacked while we were laughing, huh? You're going, I'm ready when you are. Yeah. Um... So hungry. Tartarus, Tartarus, Tartar sauce. Oh crap. I want some deep fried shrimp to munch on now. Come on, let's get going. Hmm. As it is, you're treated for feeling exhausted. It's best not to overexert yourself. Real leader knows when to surrender. Wait, check progress. What does that mean? For this, you've gotten is floor two. Explore as much of Tartarus as you can. Anything else? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if I save here because I can always do the rewind. Yeah. Wait. Does you have anything interesting to say? Excuse me. Excuse me, Igor. You were saying that you were gonna be kind of busy, but I hope you don't mind if I just drop in. To the velvet room. I feel so I welcomed. Anticipating your arrival. The time okay. Has come for you to wield your power. Yeah. Okay. Your role is to create new personas. Okay. By merging multiple persona cards together, they can be reborn into a new form. Okay. You could call it yep. fusion of personas. Okay. There is much hidden potential within your persona abilities. Heck yeah. We've never had a guest show this much promise in the past. Sweet. Indeed. And by establishing social links, you may be able to create even stronger personas as well. Cool. Oh, this shall prove to be most interesting. To that end, 
As you accumulate cards, please bring them to me. If you, wish you just want my rare Charizard. Using personas in greater detail, then come talk to me so that I may give you some hints. I will assist you to the best of my ability. Okay. The Velvet Room. You can borrow Igor's power to fuse new personas in the Velvet Room. Fusing personas is crucial in overpowering enemy shadows. First, try fusing the personas in your possession. Oh, is he gonna force me to here? I guess I can probably always resummon a Orpheus anyway, I would imagine. Well, Velvet Room tutorials have been a lot of persona fusion, social links to fusion, skill inheritance, and persona compendium. Okay. Welcome to the Velvet Room. How might I help you today? Uh, how about we talk? Okay, hold on. Let me. May as well just skim through it quickly. My role is to create new personas by fusing your existing personas together. A new one shall emerge. When new persona is created, it tends to be of a higher level than the ones that were fused. However, personas that are fused will be lost. Since the process requires multiple personas, you'll be left with fewer in your arsenal than you had before. Which powers will you forsake in order to gain new ones? It is up to you to decide. Let me persona is the power of your soul, which thrives on the bonds you have with others. Thus, it is only natural that social links affect the strength of your personas. If you have established a social link of the same arcana as the persona you wish to create, that persona will receive power from the social link and level up. And it'll, like, scale with the thing where Bob, the amount of power it'll receive, it depends on the level of the social link. Yep. In some cases, your persona may even surpass your own level. Understand how important social links are to persona users? Yep, I sure do. Diet fusion. The most basic type of fusion would be merging two personas together. Generally, Persona Fusion exhibits predictable patterns depending on the Arcanas involved. Making good use of this pattern, you will be able to create a Persona of your choosing. There are a number of combinations, however, that do not follow convention. For example, when fusing Personas of the same Arcana, the best way to learn is to experiment on your own. Okay, Search Fusion. Is that the online thing? Search Fusion will allow you to conduct a wide search on which Personas you can fuse. Search Fusion, you will be able to view a list of personas that you can create from the list of personas in your possession. Okay, not online thing. This way, you will be able to check and compare different combinations of personas even if the end result is the same. Other than that, you may also find it useful to check personas that you have yet to encounter. I hope you will make good use of it. Okay, Special Fusion, so that's a multiple one. I'm going to briefly explain the Special Fusions that involve three or more personas. These fusions are a tad complex, you see. They will only become available once you have obtained specific personas. Though it will take much time and effort, the personas you can fuse will be well worth it. Most importantly, personas created through these special fusions cannot be acquired by any other method. That in itself makes the endeavor worthwhile. Skill inheritance. I'm pretty sure I know all this stuff, I'm just double checking, making sure. The persona born from fusion may at times be able to inherit skills from the composite ones. In other words, it's possible to give a persona skills they could never learn on its own. You should keep this in mind when attempting to create a powerful persona. The mechanisms of skill inheritance are not yet fully understood, but there are two key points I'd like to share with you. First, the more skills the original persona possess, the more skills the resulting persona can inherit. Second, different personas have different strengths and weaknesses regardless of the skills they can inherit. Do keep that in mind. Oh, it actually goes on longer. I pressed up to, like, cycle down. Um, yeah, incense card, incense cards have the ability to enhance your persona's abilities. These enhancements can be passed on to new personas through fusion. Okay, so that works a little bit different than in P5, where it's like you lock them away with an incense for a while. As which cards you use and which abilities to enhance, you'll learn more by and by as you experiment with fusion. Okay, um, fusion accents, yep. I regret to inform you of this, but our powers are not perfect. Although rare, there are times when the cards may be incorrectly positioned. When this occurs, it may result in an accident. The created persona will most likely be different from what we anticipated. Do forgive us if such an incident does occur. Um, changing skills. In rare cases, a persona's skills may change during fusion. Oftentimes, the skills will change to ones of similar level. However, in some cases, they may even change to higher level skills. Hopefully, luck is on your side and all goes well. I urge you to first give careful consideration before making an attempt. Okay. Um, likelihood of unforeseen events. What? As with all things, there are certain days where the unforeseen may occur more frequently. The same goes when we conduct persona fusions. Depending on the phase of the moon, skill changes and fusion accidents are more likely to occur. Furthermore, the odds of the unexpected happening increases when repeatedly fusing personas. 
Do keep this in mind. Okay. Um, skill cards. Skill cards that you teach the skills sealed within them to any persona. For example, if you were to use an Agi card on a persona, that persona would then learn Agi or Eggy or whatever the heck. I wonder if I can do that for my uh, allies' personas as well. Even if the skill is one that cannot be passed down through fusion, these personas can learn them via skill cards. Also, if the persona you wish to teach a skill already has eight skills in its current repertoire, you will be able to choose which skill to discard. I also heard that skill cards can be duplicated somewhere. Yeah, I saw it. It would be best for you to learn about that yourself through trial and error. I found it already, yeah. Don't worry about that. Uh, Persona Compendium. Personas emerge from the sea of your soul, and they are all recorded within the Persona Compendium. I... did I ever get 100% in my Persona Compendium in P5? If not, I had like 99%. Might end up going for that again here. And that's basically what I'm going for in 5 Tactica as well, right now. I think I'm in the 70s right now. I still need to get to max level to be able to get like some of the higher ones. But uh, but yeah, my Persona Compendium is coming together in Persona 5 Tactica right now. Once you've obtained a new Persona, it will be automatically registered to the Compendium, no matter the method of acquisition. Personas can be summoned from the Compendium at any time once registered, even those that have been released. Please note though that there will be a fee for summoning a Persona from the Compendium. Yep. The stronger the Persona, the more it will cost. Such is the way of the world. Yep, that's how I figured it still works, but just making sure here, registering Personas may also re-register re a Persona that had already been registered. So will update its records in the Compendium. Let us know anytime you want to update the records of a Persona that you have trained. Oh, no need to worry. There are no fees for registering Personas. Yep, so that works the same. Personas effects on social links. Oh, where I get like bonus towards it? If I have that current persona equipped of the right arcana, if it works that same way. Personas are like masks representing your soul. Depending on the time and circumstances, you can freely switch between them. Things shall go more smoothly for you if you manage to make the most of your personas. For example, if you bring a persona of the same arcana as the social link you're meeting, I'm sure that they, who don the same mask, will allow for a deeper bond to form. Use this information wisely. Okay, so yeah, it'll benefit me to have ones of different arcanas like in P5. Okay, I kind of forgot about that because it's been a hot second and I haven't had to worry about stuff like that in P5 Tactica. Um... Ooh... Registering, I see. Yeah, so register all... all yep. Okay, and out of curiosity... So yeah, by Arcana, by level, by alphabet. Gotcha. Okay. Ah, fusion, is it? Ah, fusion, is it? Fusion search square. Yeah, and that's the only one that I can make right now. Oh, I can make the uh, the cat lady. Social fusion. All the elements you need. Yeah, so I, a lot of the personas will carry over from one game to another. It seems like, so I'll be familiar with a lot of them. Summon. Oh. Oh, because the cards go back there. Oh, that's kind of cool. Please choose the personas. So I have Priestess and Fool. I don't think I need any bonus points for that. I don't know who Priestess is. The guy that I'm about to start building up with is Magician. So I don't think I need to worry right right now about having ones of all these different Arcanas. Oh, well, here's a Magician one anyway. I don't know if it's actually going to help me on that front. Yeah, and yeah, it basically looks the same as I'm used to seeing in a P5 background. Incarnations of long-lived cats in Japanese mythology. They have various powers including human speech and control over the dead. Wow, that's spicy. Um, it'd be nice if I could see the difference. So 3-2 up to 4. My jelly would go down a little bit. Yeah, my special one will go away, but I can resummon you at whatever point, so that's no big deal. So you have uh, that and decrease one foe's defense for 3 turns. Oh, okay. We weak to electricity with this, uh, this persona. Do you wish to inherit? Um... Can I inherit both of them because I have the slots? No, I think it's just the one open slot right now. I mean, we already have a healer with another uh, another character. So do I need this? Do I want another element? I wouldn't mind being able to target weak points and stuff like that. It's not like I have a whole lot of personas right now that I can just switch between for these different elements. So no we have to establish a social link that corresponds to this persona. So I guess if I had waited until the next day and established that magician one, then I would get a little bit more EXP here, but maybe I'll get like some more affinity with my magician friendo tomorrow by doing this. 
it might not matter on this first one. It's just like, hey, here's the first link. But hey, sure. So Alright, let's see what the animation looks like in this one. Yeah, I just take my own special unique persona and get rid of it immediately. Watch this fusion fail. Like the first one. Alright. I was about to say, so not quite as brutal as, uh, as P5 where you guillotine them. But I guess he does send it through my head. I'm getting up in years, but I'll do my best to take care of you from now on. Cool, thanks. Neat. Maybe I should get that card graded. Uh, the first of many performed a Dyad Fusion I got a Steam Achievement for. Yeah, cool. Yeah, aren't any personas you can fuse? Alright, cool. Thanks, Igor. Anything else I can assist you with? Nah. We look forward to your next visit. Glad to hear it. All right. All right. <laughs> what do you uh what do you guys think of me now? Now that my uh inner hidden mask is a literal cat girl. Um <laughs> Yeah, I'll save as well. I think about 3 hours in. Probably won't be going too too much longer. It's about 2 in the morning. Since I was up at 6, it's like I'm tired. Uh let's discuss our first goal for this exploration. According to our research, Tartarus is divided into several different regions. If we continue to climb the tower, then we'll eventually reach a spot that leads to a new area. Reaching that spot should be your first goal. Right. Are you all ready? Sure am. Remember, don't push yourself too hard. You can always use the teleporters to return. You can always go back to the highest floor you've reached that day. Wait, can I use the teleporter to... Oh yes, here, take this. If you ever find yourselves in danger, don't hesitate to use them. Oh sweet. That's all for my end. Good luck.